to just recharge my batteries and discover what's real. Because here is what's real. Because here it's every day, every minute, every second battle of life and death. Right, so this is gonna be a little modern bushcraft right here. There's a spoon in this piece of juniper. I don't know. Now they're screaming at me because I guess I'm videotaping them. But uh... I don't know. I'm selling Craftsman wrenches. <clears throat> I meant to mention that. I'm sorry I forgot it because my doctor gave me a shot the other day and my mind is not all here. Uh, and when I find it, I get... Hey now, Carl the Madman here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Foxy the Fearless is over there. My coffee pot's going crazy. Hope it doesn't explode. So I just found out that these beautiful handcrafted barrel rod and barrel rod striker, the handles, that were given to me from Chris Stone. I made a guess. He wanted me to guess who made them. And I guess it was Rick from Tack Hill. Well, it wasn't Rick from Tack Hill. It was D from Native Tears. So Beautiful job, D. These are awesome. You were my second guess. There's a few people who make barrel rods and stuff. What can I say? You were my bad. But they're awesome. I love them. As you can see, I'm just catching up on some videos before I head to work here. And, uh, and then I'm still heading to work here soon. Unless my coffee pot blows up. I said I was working at Equitable Shipyards for the Executive Vice President, and um, Equitable Shipyards also had a shipyard on the Chiplunkta River.
pretty good little worker. If she's not so little anymore. Well, time to go boil some water and have a shower.